Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. And in this video, we're gonna create an application with Compose Multi-Platform. So Compose Multi-Platform is a platform that provides you ability to create an application that is not only executable on your Android devices, but it is also executable on your iOS devices and desktops too. An interesting part is we'll use Kotlin to write this kind of application. So for native Android developers, it's very easy to use this platform. For the time being, Android does not provide any kind of template for us to create this kind of project directly. So if you want to create a project for Compose Multi-Platform, we need to open our Chrome browser and just type Kotlin Wizard. Click the first link that you are seeing in your screen and after that you will see this kind of user interface. And in this particular screen, you can mention all of your project details. So for me, this is my first project. So I'm going to call this first project and in your project ID, you can give the ID, whatever you want. So I'm using your project first. Make sure to select Android, iOS and in iOS, always choose share UI if you want to build your application with Jetpack Compose. Otherwise, if you choose to not share UI, it simply uses Swift UI to write iOS platform user interface. And also I want to build this project for desktop. So simply click on this desktop. And after that, simply click on this download. So it will download a zip file for you. Extract this zip and open this zip into your Android Studio. So this is my first project. Now open up your Android Studio. Click on this open, go to download, open your first project. In the readme file, you can see the details of our modules. So compose app, then we have common main directory, iOS main directory, and we have one more directory for desktop main. Okay, so syncing is done. Now I'm going to change the mode from Android to project. So first, let's explore the project structure. So when you open this thing up, this is our compose application and this is the entry point. Open it, source, when you open source, you will see we have four different types of directory. We have Android main. So this package is used when you want to write something which is specific for Android platform. Desktop is used when you want to write something which is very specific to your desktop application. Similarly for iOS, if you want to write anything specifically for iOS, then we'll choose iOS main directory. Common main contains all the code that we share. So if you open common main, you will see we have an application naming composable. So this composable is not only executable on your Android, but the same composable is also executable in our iOS main and desktop main. So this is my composable and in this composable, if you can see, we have material theme. Uh, we have one state naming so content. We have column buttons and animated visibility to give some animation to our column. Okay, so we have a text naming compose greeting and I'm going to just change this from compose greeting to first project. Okay, so now it's time to explore Android main. So open up your Android main and in this main activity, if you can see in the set content, we are using the app. This app is present in our common main. Scroll down in the desktop main. If you notice, we have this main and in this main, we'll using our app. So this app is again the same composable that is present in our common main. That means the UI is shareable across the platform. Similarly, if you open iOS main, main view controller, you can see the same app is also used in this particular platform. So this is how you can create a Compose multi-platform application. So in the common main, you can write your composable, you can write your logics, which you can very easily share across your platform. So now it's time to execute this thing in our Android main first. So for that, just choose here Compose app and execute it. Okay, so this is our Android side application. When you click on this, you can see first project. Now let me show you the build Gradle KTS file of this Compose application module. Scroll down, we have here build.gradle.kts. We have certain plugins. We have Kotlin DSL and in this, you can see the Android target. So this Android target is used to build an application for iOS platform. Similarly, we'll have iOS platforms like iOS X64, iOS ARM64, iOS Simulator ARM64. For desktop, we'll use JVM. 
scroll down we have source set and in this source set you can add dependencies so if you want to add any dependency which is specific for android main you can put the dependency over here similarly for common main you can put over here for desktop main you can put over here and for ios main we have one more ios main dependencies you can put the dependency over here scroll down this is related to our android target namespace compile stk default configuration packaging build type so it's a very similar thing that we saw when we were working with our android application scroll down we have desktop specification over here so in this application our main class is this one main kt which is present in our desktop main and this is a native distribution specification so you can see target formatters are dmg msi and debian cool so don't get too much detail of this thing just leave it now we saw how this application is executable in android now it's time to see the ios so just choose ios and okay let me sync it and after that i'm gonna execute the same application for ios okay so simply execute it so if you want to use ios simulator you need to download xcode and corresponding to that xcode also you need to install fuse simulator in your xcode all right so app is start executing in ios site when I click on this button, you can see the same user interface that we saw in Android. Okay, go back to our project and this time I'm going to execute the same project in my desktop application. So for that, go to your desktop main, main.kt and just execute it. Okay, so this is our first project. Click me and there we go this is our icon and just prior to it we have the text so let me just stretch this over here you can see first project that's it for this video i hope you got the complete idea what this compose multi-platform is and how we can actually use this platform to build an application that is not only executable for android but it is also executable for ios and desktop if you like this video subscribe my channel and also write your comments we will meet in our next video till that goodbye